What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl, Janaya Leah, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And if you can't already tell by the thumbnail or my hair right now, today we are getting into another hair tutorial. And y'all, I'm very much excited about this because your girl has been wanting to do some braids for a minute. So today we're gonna be doing some long boho knotless. If y'all are new here, then you may not know, I like to do my braids or my knotless individual braid styles a little different just to save effort and time. Do knotless around like my parts and basically the front perimeter and then everywhere else I like to do crochet. So I'm going to be using that method today when I do this style. So before we get into it, let me show you all the tools plus the hair that I'm going to be using. All you're going to need is a regular little rat tail comb my handy dandy crochet hook, the gel of your choice. I like to use this gummy gel, preferably the pink one. And so that's what I like to use on my edges and my braids. And now for the hair, this hair was sent to me by Hot Braids. So this is their 20 inch Bohemian Curl bulk hair. And as y'all can see, the tops are literally like it's loose hair and this is 100% human hair and I'm very much excited to use these for my braids today because I don't think y'all know the struggle of trying to do boho styles with synthetic hair and then for the crochet hair because I want my hair to be nice full boho but not too too much I did not get like a boho crochet so the crochet hair that I have is the free Tris braid and this is just their hippie braid hair so as y'all can see the only thing that's curled on this hair is going to be the ends which is just how i want it okay so what's up y'all so first things first i went ahead and sectioned out my hair based on the parts that i wanted to do knotless and the parts that i was going to crochet and so as you can kind of see here i just left out the front perimeter of my head as well as where i know i will be wearing parts which is my middle and my side and then the rest of it i just did some little sloppy cornrows so that way i'm able to go crochet and honestly, contrary to how mine may look, I feel like when you're doing a base for a crochet, it's similar to doing a base for a sew-in. So the tighter, flatter, and neater your braids are, the tighter, flatter, and neater your, I guess, crochet or sew-in install will be. But in this case, I felt like the the braid down was good enough, okay? So even if you're not like a professional cornrow expert or whatever just enough is that will be okay and crocheting is very easy and i definitely love this method i highly recommend it for beginners or if you're just lazy and don't feel like doing a full head of knotless braids like me but i feel like the crochet like you'll get it it's very kind of repetitive and like self-explanatory after a little while but i literally am just looping through and what i like to do is do like a finger width apart or a finger width between each braid so that way it kind of simulates how your parts would be like with actual knotless braids in the boxes and as long as you do a finger width between each braid then you know you definitely will not have any gaps so this is how my hair looks from the back and i love it especially knowing that once i do the boho knotless in the front is definitely going to give like that extra coverage and just kind of fill out the rest of my head and also as a side note i did end up using about five packs of the hippie braid crochet hair that i ordered i personally feel like if your braids are a little smaller um you may not honestly need as much hair but it really just depends so yeah so for my knotless braid especially at this length i literally only feed in three pieces of hair and that is so i have enough room left at the end to add on the boho hair and not have the braids like too long and so the way i do this is i feed in my three initial pieces those are literally the first three pieces to go in and then i add my boho hair and in order to keep that in the braid and also outside of the braid at the same time i have one piece integrated into the braid so i'm going to braid that and then the other piece i just kind of hold it in my mouth just to keep it in place but like when i say in my mouth like kind of on the outside so you know i'm not tasting the hair or anything and then from there i'm able to just continue with the braid as normal and then even add the piece towards the end now when you're braiding towards the end with this bowl of hair you have to just kind of be aware of the fact that this hair is really really slippery and it also will not match the synthetic hair so i literally loop around the knotless braid at least three or four times just to make sure it's secure and then i go through and i cut off the remaining synthetic hair and depending on how much hair you may or may not have to loop at the end of that braid i also have went through like some of the braids and just added like a dab of nail glue and one thing that i've noticed with the nail glue is that it's better to just 
apply the nail glue and let it dry on its own versus like applying it and twisting it because for some odd reason if you twist it it will turn white so in the case where the braid the knot on the braid does not um keep itself i'll just apply nail glue and do that but in most cases tying a knot about three or four times usually helps and i also recommend starting your end piece fairly high in the braid don't start it right at the end because that makes it kind of susceptible to um falling out of your braid so give it enough room to be in there and be secure but at the same time to where you have like enough length to actually give boho and the curl pattern on its hair is very very beautiful and it's exactly what you would imagine and want for a boho style but i will say a little goes a long way um three packs or three bundles can very well be a full head but if you do want like a even fuller boho look and kind of like one of the i think they're calling it like the bali braids type look where you have like more boho integrated into the style then probably four bundles may do and it may also help to integrate like two or three loose pieces of the boho hair into your braids versus kind of how i'm doing it i'm doing like two pieces some braids i may add in a third piece just so i have two pieces hanging out and then one piece at the end but it really for me just depending on where the braid was i know the braids that were closer to the perimeter and towards the top of my head I added maybe like two pieces there just because I know like when I do styles I would want to have those boho strands hanging out. So it really kind of just depends on preference and the look that you're going for but you kind of have like endless options and possibilities when it comes to doing styles with this boho hair. And just as another tidbit if you are doing this style on somebody else or you don't want to obviously put the hair in your mouth I usually have a clip at the top of my head or at the nearest um, section of hair anyways so it may help you to just clip the loose hair into that clip that you're already using to section your hair and you can kind of hold it that way so you'll kind of see as i get to the top of my head where the hair won't even reach my mouth i just slide the little boho piece up on that clip and that kind of just holds it out the way because you really don't need like too much tension as far as it goes um keeping the hair out the way but it's more so just having it out the way so that way you don't accidentally braid it into the knotless braid instead of having it hanging out So as we're getting towards the end of this tutorial, I kind of just wanted to give y'all a better glimpse on how I'm integrating the boho hair into the end of this braid. So I basically grab the hair maybe like towards the end of the braid, to, but still to where I have enough hair to braid in the boho hair because you don't want to add it like at the very, very end because like I said before, your hair might just slip out if you don't give it like enough um braid so once i do that i wrap it around and then i cut that remaining piece then to close out this style obviously i'm going to set the hair with hot water but instead of dipping it as you would a traditional knotless braid install i'm going through and i'm just having a towel and i'm pouring the hot water onto that towel obviously making sure my hands and my skin are protected and then i'm going through and i'm patting and rubbing that towel down my hair and this is just so you don't damage the curls on the end of the braids um and just also so you know like it just does not mess up the curls and finally here is the final look of this style as y'all can see i was very much obsessed with this boho hair and i could not wait to put it in a claw clip there are literally endless styles that you can do with this hair so thank you to hot braids for sending it to me and y'all i hope y'all love this style as much as i do okay y'all so here is the final look and let me just show y'all these are how the braids look at the end and when i tell y'all i am absolutely obsessed with this hair obsessed with these braids and girl i could not have pictured a better boho style like this style is really eating up so hopefully this tutorial really helped y'all out and inspired y'all to try this style and try this hair once again the hair will be linked in my description box it is from hot braids that's the bulk hair that i'm using it's the bohemian curly 20 inch and girl i'm obsessed with this hair so thank y'all you already know click smash smack that subscribe button down below and i will see y'all on my next video